Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to some Monster Hunter stories. Two. Wings of Ruin. So big thanks to Capcom for the early copy. Obviously, we have already started covering this game uh, as a Let's Play on the channel, and that is where we are going to do our story progression. We're going to keep that all episode focused. But obviously, there is a lot to this game. So uh, for those trying to trying to keep stuff in order, uh, this is actually this would be after episode 20. So we're obviously much farther from the start. Um, the only story spoiler you'll know is that we're doing something with windmills and lightning. Um, we're just going to be kind of going around looking for new monsters in this biome. It's a pretty big biome, and we're going to be hunting for monsters, uh, leveling up, leveling up our monsties, getting new eggs, all that stuff, and basically just avoiding the, the story quest for the time being. So, without further ado, let's get on our way. So, um... There's a couple areas I haven't even explored yet. We're going to start with that. I guess the first thing I should do is introduce you to the gang. So we have... Let me, uh, let me go to status. Okay, we got Ratha, the Wings of Ruin. And our job is to prove that Ratha ain't a bad guy. We got a Nargakuga. Y'all know Nargakuga. This is actually a pimped out Nargakuga. Already got triple bonuses going on. He's real strong. Uh, moving on from them, we got a Zamtrios, Mr. Frog Shark. Everyone loves a Zamtrios. We got a Ketchawacha, which I'm not a giant fan of this thing, but it's good at climbing up vines, and I need something that can climb vines. So he's my vine climber for now. Uh, we got a Jade Bearroth. Which is like a Baroth, except it does ice, and it's meaner, and it's cooler. And then we got your boy, Anjanath. So, pretty decent party. Uh, right now, we have Avina and her buddy Frostfang with us. So, that's kind of the gang that we got. And anyway, let's, uh, let's head on out. So, um, I want to... Let's go there first, to the West Lavina Everden. We'll go check that out. I'm good. I'm always good. Went to the gym early, doing the stream early. I just need to, I need to push for my, push for my part-time schedule, like, as soon as I come back Monday, because I'm getting used to it, and I ain't going back to, to doing the long hours. That's not fun. Ooh, we got a rare den. That's how I like to start my streams. Regular bear off. Ah! Change its element with mud. Okay, um, let's swap to the Raven Torrent, and we're gonna boot this shit for now. I'm playing on the Switch. It works fine. The frames aren't nearly as good as PC, of course. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. Oh, Wrath is not ready for this kind of fight. Let me slow it down for a bit until y'all get used to it. The demo does carry over, yes. Speed attack? Why are you speed attacking him? Oh, I guess he's doing speed. Ah. Wrath is not really made for the cold. Let me, um... Mm, 
bit loud. Buying levels look okay to me. We played Guilty Gear, uh, what was it, last week, I think? Break his head. Almost there. Oh, it's go time now, man. He's gonna go for a ride on. Ratha is having trouble. I need to switch him out here. Oh boy, here we go. Spinning Meteor. a big hit. Speed. Yes, you are. Yeah, I could stop Wrath of getting frozen. I'm just this either I gotta use an item or give him a special trait. And I've been lazy. I mean I'm not that worried about it while fighting a bear off. Bear off is pretty basic enemy, you know? So far, um, I don't know. I mean, Nagakuga has done a lot for me. So I kind of want to lean towards Narga, but I got a Yangaruga pretty early and he was also doing a good job. Probably so far, I think it is. I would give it to Narga so far. Narga does a lot of damage. He's a solid party member, and he has stealth, which is really useful. Alright, we let's get some eggs. No, I don't want this egg. I've gotten that before. Mm, that's a 
bear roth egg, I think. That's an Anja egg. This is what we want. Ooh, it reeks and it's normal. We want that rainbow glow. Rainbow glow. on the new switch console i mean it's i guess people that don't have a switch already might get some use out of it i i personally i won't be getting one i see zero reason to upgrade but for people that want to switch and don't have one i guess it's worthwhile Ooh, little shit Okay, you little shit. Um, y'all look like your speed. So let's give you a little bit of technical boops. I got gooped, my dude. Does it go? It keeps going. Oh, that is a Zenogre. So I beat a Tigrix earlier without capturing it. I need, I need to, to lure that thing away. I need a baby Zenogre in my party. I don't know if I can even beat it, but I'm damn well gonna try. Zenogre. What is Zenogre weak to, chat? Doesn't Zenogre have like shit elemental hit zones? Rainbow glow. It's a rainbow anginath. I'll take it. Make to ice. Make to ice would be odd because we're in an ice region. I'm gonna check. Pull it. Monster hunter GU monster. Zen Ogre. He is. He's not super weak, but Ice is his one elemental weakness. Well, I need to like save before I try fighting that. The 
Ravina Glacial Peaks. This is probably where I gotta go at like the end of this chapter. Let me get a save though. So I don't run into the same situation like I did with Tigrix. Sammy, I need your ice powers. Head, tail, body. Let's try breaking the head first. Wait, no, it's not hammer. Hammer is not good. Oh, yeah, that'll work real well. Okay, how about our Baroth loader? How uh, do you like this? Yes, it's weak. Let's speed it up a little bit. Thing hits real hard, dude. Bro, Nier Gante is like the end of the game. Oh shit, he switched the tech. Trios to the ah! hey, Tigrix was a bigger threat than this guy. He hits hard, but. His head's almost broken. So close to getting it. Break the face. Break the face. Break it. So close! Oh god, it one shot of Mina. There we go. Enemy down. Body or tail? Let's get its tail. Big hits. Look at me. 
Look at me, you bitch. Try the body. Body works. I need it to look at me. If it looks at me. Oh, yes. Uh, hit him with the ice spear on the body. And then we are going first fire technical. Get fucked, my guy. Boom, 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 boom. It's almost time. We need doubles. We need doubles. Speed it up. Triple speed. Here we go. Ride on. Double kinship skill combo. Try it. Retreat rate up. Oh, that's what we want. That's what we want. How many turns does that last? We've broken two parts. He's injured. Three turns. Okay, we did one turn. This will be turn two. want is an ogre. I lost out on the tigers. The flamen's constant. Three. I need to redo it. Cyclone, big hit there, big hit there. No, wait, he is going to probably do power. The 
Yes. Read them like a book. I think this is the, the third turn. This is the last, last chance here. He's gotta be low, his tail's almost broken. Let me see, he's usually a speed monster. Got him. Retreat. Retreat. No, it's not retreating, chat! Fuck me, bro. <sighs> Damn it. With him not retreating... Do I reload the save? Do I reload the save and go through all that again? Do I have anything else that will increase retreat rate? Ammo. That's actually really nice. Frostbite. Man. And look at retreat conditions in the Monsterpedia. What is the Monsterpedia? Is that in the field guide? Monsterpedia. Monsterpedia. Okay. Slaying one. Habitat, defeat with ice element while it is afflicted. Wait, defeat with an ice element attack while it is afflicted with blast bite. The hell? Yeah, I used three paintballs. While it is afflicted with blast blight? Oh. That's like so much extra. Break the head with a great sword after it steps on a shock trap. Well, I could try and fight it again. Afflicted with blast blight. I would need a... Wait. Defeat. So I need to get the final hit on this thing with an ice element attack, which is just constant ice element. So let me see if I have any items that I could use to inflict blast blight. Inflicts burn.
Oh wow, I can make a ton of these. Um, do you have to reload the save, or can you reload the area by going to town and coming back to the caravan? I'm pretty sure once you beat Royal Monsters, they're gone. But we can check. Um, here, easy way to check. There is a Tigrix Royal over here. Let's see if it respawns at all. I mean, even if royal monsters don't, you could still find a Xenogre and a Tigrix and all these things later in the game. It's just, it's a chance for you to get that monster into your party early. Oh shit, wait. So the Tigrix is back. Bro, no way. We about to get a Tigrix, Tigrix in my party. All right, I needed, let me see. Uh, field guides, Monsterpedia. Shock trap, break the face with a great sword. Do I have shock traps? Pitfall. Okay, Zenogra is back. So, all right. So they are not a one-time thing, which is nice. All right, well, let's, if that's the case, let's try and get the Tigrix first, and then we'll get the Zenogra. I want all the Royal Monsters. Is this game better than Rise? I think it's stupid to compare them. They're two completely different genres. You might as well ask me if Madden's a better game than Call of Duty. Shock slash tune. Big strong. Big shock locker material. Whatever the hell that is. What about the armor? What does he have? Thunder boost. Kinship fill faster at 50% or less. Recovers HP on a critical hit. That sounds really good. Also, I need a shock locker. Seal breaker, negate skill seal. Hammer master. I mean, I might get that. What you need? You need a hermitar. Don't have them yet. Thank you. Right, I need the merchant. I need, uh, 
you don't have them. Oh, thank you. Uh, maybe I have a trip that would give me. Analysis knife and trap tool. I mean, you probably combine those. Flash bomb how to. Flash bomb how to. I would need. your old Monster Hunter Stories live stream? I mean, I only did one, and it was the demo, but yeah, it's on the channel. You just gotta go to the past live streams playlist and scroll back. Bottle caps can be changed for trap recipes. Cool. I will do that. I have tons of bottle caps. Uh, yeah. I can I can show you I can show you a bull drum. I'll get a bull drum out for you, lady. Getcha watcha. Getcha getcha watcha watcha. Well, what about Grumpy Cowboy? I miss some. This is the Lux version. Curious to see Razor layered. This is whatever Capcom gave me. I don't think it's the deluxe. Oh, thank you. She wants something else. Quarpeco sculpture. Oh. I'd have to go get a Quarpeco. I have one. I got rid of it. My, aren't you a dear? Okay. Um. Trank trap. Pitfall. Shock trap. Pitfall trap. Trank trap. These are hairstyles. Oh shit, I can buy nutrients from you. It's a cool cap. King's outfit. Sell at the market for extra zany. Golden stimulants. Um, I mean, I'm gonna want stable blueprints eventually. Yeah, just exchange it. Red Pinta! Yeah, it's turn based. We're gonna get a Tigrix. We're gonna get a Tigrix. Okay, that gives me a couple of each trap type. Not really, someone made an inaccurate observation. Now I kind of want to see. It's my mouse, I want to go back. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they have to retreat to cap. Someone just being fucking dumb. I was hoping there was like some spicy dialogue, but nah, it was just someone that's dumb. Imagine both.
Damn, that's a good Zam Trios. Max HP fire attack. Like it. I like it. Let's take a look. Anjanef health head to head. Anja medium and small. Fire chomp health up head to head. Anja medium, Anja small. Fire chomp health up. Is bombardier instead of head to head. What does this do? Marginally boosts blast blight and explosives. Chomp Anja gene. Medium fire damage to all enemies. Boost fire attack. I probably want to just level up his chomp to get super chomp. That takes a while. What do you got? Ibo partner. Makes kinship felt 50%. Oh, that's not that good. Freezing, freezing medium. Um, right of channeling. Um, let's see. What do I want? Freezing spear. Upgrade it. Goodbye. Upgrade my shit. Through the power of genetic fusion, I have improved my Zami. Okay, monster expeditions. Instructions, XP. Um, you're all unlocked. Ah, oh, shit, he's in my party. I do not want him in my party. Boldrum can come out. Uh, let's pull fucking Yangaruga back in. Oh, no, it's right. I had Ketcha Watcha. Ketcha Watcha. We'll put Yan in there. We'll put Palamu in there. Ooh, well, I don't really need the Kulu. Um. I'm about to go after Kadachis. Um, one, damn, I'm one short. I need one more Baroth. And I can upgrade this bad boy. I do need a new hammer. I need an... I mean, I could take this up, but it's like... What does it go up to? 65? Hermitars. I don't have Hermitars. I want the Tigrix hammer. Thank you. Well, let's go get this thing. We're going to offer. Feed the men. Make more sense to go try and get Zenogre first, since Tigrix is weak to lightning. 
But I'm pretty sure Zammy can ruin his butt. Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive? I did, but I played it on my own. I didn't stream it. I just made it a, uh, a cowboy game. I was actually bummed because I didn't, um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to show y'all this episode. Or fight, I, I beat the Tigers this morning. And then I was like, fuck, I'm never going to be able to show them the Tigers fight. Uh, you start off as a speed boy, I think. There you go. Let's just work that head down. We are going to get our Tigrex. Get, get, get that Tigrex. Charge attack zone! Xantrios just face tank that shit. Okay, now it goes to power, I believe. I hope so. Yep. Boom! Oh, is it time to ride already? I'm not ready to ride yet. That is a pity. Still has like half the head left. This is gonna be really hard because I what was it? I need to break the head with the greatsword. Ability ready. Because the other problem is they're about to break the other parts. And they're all going to be going on the head. I also need to hit the head while in a shock trap. I thought it was break the head while it was in a shock trap. Double. Oh, no. Nope. He's going to attack. I don't want to use my kinship. That part's broken. Now everyone's hitting the head. Alright, so it's enraged. Wait, shock trap is power attack. Okay. Perfect. Wait, what? I just said that enemy can't be trapped. I 
guess we're gonna try it. I don't I don't know, that's weird. It's power attacking. Why couldn't we get the head? Raising your spouts. Big chunky boy. You're doing well. Believe in yourself. I'm not getting the, the things I want here. You're skipping through animations to make it that fast? There's a there's a thing you can you can press a button and make the combat uh triple speed. Well, we'll go back to uh What you doing, Nugget? What are you doing? We will go back to Laloska and we'll do Zenover again. So what was the thing for the Zenogre? Zenogre's five stars. Tigrix also five star is. Oh, that's right. Blast Blight. Defeat an ice element. While it is afflicted with Blast Blight. How the hell am I supposed to inflict Blast Blight? I don't think. Do I have... Let me go to the stables here. Maybe I have a monster that I can use to inflict Blast Blight? I think all of his stuff is just burn. What what could I do blast blight with? Are there blast knives maybe? Blast damper gene, fireball gene. High chance for burns. Negates blast blight. Just to check, is Blast Blight different from Burn? It should be, but I need to find a... Writer Notes. The Book of Genes. Monstipedia. There's 125 monsters for you to choose from. Guild. Frostbite, Royal Monsters. Uh, facilities, Battle. Stinus. I know you can get Bracky, but I'm Bracky is pretty far away. Well, I mean, I have, it might be that I have to wait until later. Let me let me look through the weapons here. Bow is really good for inflicting elements. There might be a bow that I can use to inflict blast blight. Welcome. 
That's like the whole thing of bow is it does uh Power pierce, piercing power, rapid fire powder, piercing poison, rapid fire power, poison, poison, spread paralysis. I'm not seeing blast on any of those. Poison. Maybe blast, this has blast fire chaser. Target inflicted with burn or blast by take more damage. So clearly blast is a separate entity from skill blaze slash power attack that does fire shock focus slash frost slash yeah i don't think i can do anything involving blast thank you i mean i could always just fight it i could just fight it and use the uh you know fight it and um I know this sounds vanilla, but I could just fight the damn thing and use paintballs. I mean, I want Zenogre more than I want Tigrix. Because Zenogre is, is, he's the goat. Can Gala have Blast Blight? Mm, maybe? And Gala farts, doesn't it? Mighty farts. Nothing about Blast Blight. I mean, I know the timing on it this time, so. It's so weird to me that a monster that's weak to ice is hanging out in this frozen wasteland. Break its face. And then we determined that it was weak to swords and a tail. Start. Now it's two times speed. And this speeds things up a little bit. The thing is, two times speed will still do all the animations. When you really ramp it up and you go up to three times, then it's just. Paul's ass. It's a boom, 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 boom. Um, I think you switch. I hope this is the right play. Yes, it is. When no, it superpowers up, it's power. Thank you. I mean, that's such a good support.
puts into power mode. We're a ride on, and it wants to power, which means I want to do speed. Snow launcher. Let's beat it. I think you are. Time for a ride on. We're gonna boost this all the way up. We're gonna ride on for a while until we're done breaking his parts. you're back to speed? Yes, you are. Boom! Frost Fang can't move. Damn, we're just getting messed up. Double kinship! At level three, kinship double is just boom and number. Just big hit. It's nice that I know how much health this thing has, though. Because I can time that paintball down to the last minute. goes from speed to technical, if I remember right. Mm. He's low, but is he three turns low? I don't know. Maybe. the game, I like it a lot. I'm a big Monster Hunter nerd though, so like, it would have had to have been just dookie for me to not enjoy it. Monsties, Ice Spear, Donk, Skills, This should be the last turn. But I want to, uh... I think I need to beat him here, otherwise I gotta do another paintball. Oh, oh this thing does not want to die. Alright, here we go. Paintball. Please, for all that is holy. Retreat! Come on. 
Get up. Get up and run away. Damn. Not getting up and running away. Bro, this is bullshit. I just want a Zenogre. Or a Tigrix. Just one of them. But the game is like, no. How about no? Like, what, please? How about no? How about you can't get what you want? Give me a monster. I'll just keep departing. I want that engine leveled up. I mean, this is Monster Hunter Stories 2. The original... I mean, I didn't like the original that much. So. Well, we did check the Monsterpedia, but it says I need to use Blast Blight and then Ice Attack. Well, it's, it's, it's like, use a Blast Blight and Ice Attack to finish it, which that shit ain't gonna happen. Now, the thing that doesn't make sense with this next monster... ...is it says, break the head with a greatsword after it steps on a shock trap. Okay, break the head after it steps on a shock trap. Problem is... It went to walk on the shock trap, and it said, this monster is immune. So, I'm not sure if maybe, you know, I can't trap a monster when it's enraged, but if it's the case of I can't trap it when it's enraged, then I'm not sure when I'm supposed to trap it, because it only does, like this monster will only do, uh... so all right, let me get, let me just go to, go to, to... shock trap triggered by an enemy's power attack prevents enemy actions for two turns. The thing is, he, uh, he's only going to power attack when he's enraged. So, it's a conundrum, get it? Like, how am I supposed to trigger a shock trap if shock trap only goes off during power attacks and power attacks only happen when the monster is raging? We're not trying to capture him, we're just trying to use a trap. It basically just don't add up. Let me... I'm curious. Let me try something here. So I've put the shock trap down. Okay. He starts off as a speed. that son of a boggy they didn't fall for it so i think that means the trap was wasted okay it was the trap was wasted so i need to make him rage well i think you need to trap him on the turn you need to do it on the turn that he would Seal his other types of attacks to force him. That is a good idea. That 
that's a good idea. Best idea I've heard so far. He's doing speed right now, so we are going to... Ineffective. Does that mean it can't happen, or that I need to do it in a head-to-head? -head? Yeah, I know it's going to do a power attack here. I mean, in theory, if I fight it long enough, eventually... Eventually, I should be able to get it to retreat. Ow! I'm getting ineffectives on everything, though. Can't you just go like I said? We're gonna level up to level three. You are going to rage, I'm going to trap, I'm going to break your head, and that'll be that. Can shit combo! to be angry here. It's not angry. I need to break it. I need to... Oh, fuck. If it's not angry, there's no point in even shock trapping it. Uh, I'm just gonna break its head. Fuck it. Come at me, bitch. its head. Alright, so now it is, it's going to do its thing. If this doesn't work, I may just reload the save. Power attack. That enemy can't be trapped. Why? It's a power tra- oh my god, dude. Bullshit. Retreat, you bitch. The only thing I can think is maybe I have to skill seal it into doing power. I got another slew during retreat rate up. Still nothing. Still nothing. Bro, why? Why? 
This game does not want me to get a Royal Tigrix. It just doesn't. It's like, no, how about no? Why did he get timed out? How can a monster fall in a trap if it's not targeting you? Because you're putting the trap in, in front of it. Is YouTube like blocking the stuff people are saying again so I can't even see? Does it look like all I do is Doom's talking about a controller? By using a different tap for when he's using speed attacks to test if traps work on real monsters or not. It's a good idea. I mean, if someone wants to bitch, let them bitch. I don't think that's really a reason to time them out. It sounds like the guy just wanted to vent. We don't have rules against venting. I only have one heart. I probably need to go to the village first. All I want is a one. All I want is Tigrex. I mean, if he's like, but the thing is, he's not doing anything wrong. So I'm saying y'all shouldn't be timing. If he's ranting, he's ranting. It'd be one thing if he was like actively just. Being like, fuck this, fuck that, like, I don't know. I didn't see him say anything that looked like he should have been timed out. He wasn't breaking any rules. I'm just saying, let's... Yeah, murder this damn thing. Anyway, we know for a fact that Royal Monsters... I'll find out. He's gonna do a speed attack. So maybe I just can't do it while he's enraged? I need to leave. I don't have any more fucking shock traps, dude. I don't have shock traps. I don't- fuck. I'm gonna run away. Get me out of here. I need more- I need trap tools. I need trap tools. 
Where can I get trap tools from? Do any of these have trap tools as a reward? Trap tool, the Torrid Tyrant. Check a merchant. Are you finishing Scarlet Nexus? Or is that going on the back burner? I feel like I've slogged through it. It's there's still a, I mean there's an episode that just went up a little bit ago. I just slowed it down to one a day because uh, Monster Hunter is doing. Monster Hunter is at three a day per now, and so I knocked Scarlet Nexus down to one. There should be like one episode each day. They're scheduled for. It should be up at like 9 a.m. every day. Because today was episode 36, I think. Let me see. The day of July 8th. Yeah, there was an episode that went up today. There's just like, like, honestly, I think a lot of people are kind of burnt out on it. So I'm slowing it down to one per day and I'm going to let it finish like that. Trap stuff. You don't have any trap stuff. Welcome. Welcome. You don't have trap tools, lady. Fuck, man. What do I do? Scarlet versus near replicant. Um. Uh, near replicant has a better story. I mean, I don't know. They're both pretty fun games. I'd probably, like, wait. I don't know if I'd choose between those two, to be honest. Like, they're both solid. They're both, like, 8 out of 10. I guess between the two of those, I would probably do Replicant over Scarlet. Do I reload? I need traps. I need traps. I mean, I got parts, though. I got one trap. Let me do it. Where's that quest at? Where's that quest? Where's the quest? Where's it at? Where's the quest? This trap. The Torrid Tyrant. The Torrid Tyrant has been seen dangerously close to the village. Too much for us to handle. Force it back into the forest. All right, we're going to go kill the Torrid Tyrant. I'm going to get the thing. I'm going to make one shock trap. We're going to try and seal the Tyrex's abilities. And after I seal its abilities, we'll try and trap it and then break its face and then make it retreat. Let's get a different lead monster. I don't like Mr. Hoppy Hoppy. So the Torrid Tyrant, I am, I have no idea what I'm hunting. The Torrid Tyrant. What does hounding do?
Increased damage done to enemies with abnormal status. Salt in the wound. Are y'all seeing the, the Torrid Tyrant at all? I figured it would be like a uh, like a Ludroth or something. Missions. Spire Rock ever down there. Right? Spire Rock. That's not, it's out of the map. What the hell? It's right there. I can't go over there. Like bullshit, there's an Everdone that I can't reach. I probably need to have like fly or some Yes. It's a gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Where is this thing I need to fight? I have not seen anything that is attacking the village. It's supposed to be look at this quest tempo again. <sighs> bump bump da dun dun dun. Horrid Tyrant. I know it's here. Set objective. North Kamuna Cape. Subquest monsters have their own dens that are silver. I think I've seen one of those before. It's an Anja. The hell's an Anja doing here? <laughs> Squirt its butt, but day style. You don't like that, do ya? Well, I'll show up a little thicker. Yeah, yeah, thick boy. This bear out's kind of tiny. Break his nose with the angle. Look, I have my break his nose with 
do you ain't got no behind it. This thing's also resistant to hammer, I guess that means I'm gonna have to gun lance you. I'll use this anyway. This thing hits pretty hard. Double time! Synchronicity bone. Meet your hammer. Barely did damage to him. Break its nose. down JD. I'm just speed this up. I'm in one times. Oh, it's time? Is it that time? Actually, you know what? I want to see... No, let's just do it. Doubles are... Doubles are big. Big damage! Yeah, 1290. Vinny, I'm just getting one shot, dude. Oh, cannot lose to this beast. We need speed. You have no speed. Um, Naga Kuga, come out! Really need for speed! Yeah, this is a beefy Angel. He does not want to go down, dude. Killer Tail! Big hit. Victory there. Big hit right on there. Knock him down. Why is your nose not broken? There it is. God damn.
Well, we just gotta hit it with everything we got. Don't die. No, bro. Frostfang, why? How is Frostfang going to go down like that? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Just go play with your baby. Oh. Oh, she's just doing her little thing. Ah, man, that was disappointing. Um, I'm gonna beat this thing. I think so I got a I got a plan to beat it. That was a strong ass Anja. So what I want to do is I'm going to start the fight with the hammer even though hammer is not like the better weapon. And what I should be able to do is get up to three gauges of hammer. Get to, to three gauges here. And then as soon as the Anjanap pulls out its horn, I bop the shit out of it. Bro, he one-shots you. A little much. Graphics are identical on PC. But the frame rate's better. Ugh. Actually, I don't think I gain gauge unless I'm winning it head-to-head. What the fuck is this, bro? What? Alright, we gotta switch you out. Shit's ridiculous. Bite my nuts, bitch. Now it's mad. Since it's mad, it's going to do power. Which means it's now time to snow launch it. Head one. And now, oh, you're fucked. 
Say goodbye, nose. Half of the strength of its nose already. But it doesn't matter because it one shot me. Oh my god, bro. All I want is a trap tool. All I want is a trap tool, and I can't get one. Feels bad, bro. Feels bad. Feels so bad. Why can't we just... Why won't they just run away? I'm gonna try Tigrix and Zenogar one more time each, and then we're just gonna hunt eggs. I kinda wanna grab some beef jerky. I mean, I'm sure later I can just buy, well, all right, so two things. One, later on I'm sure I can buy trap tools. I'm still pretty early in the game. I'm only at the third biosome. Um, two, um, the only thing that has me against safe scumming is if I were to save scum, you gotta keep in mind I'm losing all of the Tigrix parts that I got. Which right now, I have enough Tigrix parts that when I, when I fight a Hermitar, I'm gonna straight up make a level 3 Tigrix Greatsword. that beef jerky bag. He's doing speed right now. Technical, you dumb bitch. You're approaching me. Beat your ass.
Oh, you bitch. Um, he is gonna do speed. Which means you need a technical ability. Or we just pull out a tech monster. It's actually getting pretty close. You're pretty low HP. Spouts! Yo, oh, there we go! It's retreating! Let's go! Wyvern Stone! Tigrixton, Tigrixton, I got a Tigrixton, a Tigrixton, do, 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 do. gonna stealth my way in. That monster is out cold, let's try not to wake it. I want a shiny, shiny egg. Shiny egg. Shiny egg. No, I want a shiny one. Doesn't smell like much and it's heavy. That's what we want. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Stinky heavy. We got that stinky egg. We got that stinky egg, and we got that stinky egg. It's time for Tigrix Slate. We got that stinky egg. We got that stinky egg. Let's go! Yeah, anytime you make a monster retreat, you get a guaranteed egg from that monster. That's why we've been literally like banging our head against the wall like, kill a Tigrix, just trying as much as we could. Let's hatch it in Mahana. A shout out to the dude that got banned for being an idiot. Hell yeah, we're going for the other Royals. Heavy with a good smell. 
Yo, baby Tigris is gonna look adorable. Look at it! Look at his big old eyes that are like too big for its head. Oh man, he's a big boy. He's gonna be a big boy. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. He's a speed monster. Ooh, what do you got? Savage Strike. Rock Shooter. Medium non-elemental. Boosts non-elemental somewhat. Den Protector. Yo! Boosts retreat rate of slain monsters by a good amount. That is super good. Lock on. Raises an accuracy. I'm not worried about that. Heavy non-elemental damage to one enemy. Accuracy is low, but a strike will be a critical hit. Boosts non-elemental. So, um, okay, okay. I kind of think I should, if I can move the might gene. Let me look for other health up gene small. Light non-elemental to one enemy. Very light non-elemental damage. Onslaught. Poison breath. Poison breath gene. Health up gene small. Sleep Nursilla gene. Tumbling onslaught. Attack power is boosted. I uh, don't like that that much. Healing gift. Restores one heart to an ally. That's good. I'm trying to just look at what I want to take and, and move over to him. Increase defense. Maybe breaking? Or a health up. A health up would be a safe bet almost no matter what. Health up small. Health up medium. Who else had a health up gene? He had health up small. Healing gene medium. That's honey power. Kinship health up. Critical. Toughen. Moderately increase the defense for three sh turns. That. Light non elemental to all enemies. High chance to inflict poison. Could I move that over? I think this is the one that's in my party, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't need three power types. He has ground dive, though. But I don't need three power types. He has dash and ivy climb. If he has ivy climb, we don't need your dumb ass. Bum, bum. And then Zami just be carrying us. Unless I want to drop... I mean, I literally haven't used Jade. He has not been in my party at all so far. He's just like, eh, he's there. He doesn't do anything. I think I would take a health boost. Oh, 
Well, no. All right. So I should. Oh, man. This is a hard decision. I wish I could move this. Because moving that would be really helpful. Putting a rainbow in the middle. Because if I put a rainbow right here, that's going to give me one, two. If I put a rainbow here. Here. If I do it in the corner, it's at least three. If I do it here, it's one, two, three, four. So I could go the rainbow there and then medium health boost here. And then that's going to help everything except for rampage. Um, well, no, it would help because everything else is going to be plain except for den protector gene. So yeah, that could work. So let's... Unlocking gene slots. Gene slots that cannot be unlocked through leveling up require a stimulant item for that monster type. I need a flying wyvern stimulant to unlock that. Cool. We are going to... Monster is in the party, so no channeling. Well, we're going to take you out of the party. No, I mean, it's a rainbow one. I don't know if I want to get rid of him. I haven't used him, like, at all. that goodbye my friend tigrix requires your soul death loop i might play it i'm not even sure to be honest who else has a rainbow who has a rainbow that will sacrifice it zami at one point zami and narga both have rainbows those rainbows will be sacrificed for the greater good of Tyrex. I need a thing to unlock his ability first. All right, with Tiggy though, let us hop on over. If I get a Zen Ogre, that would mean no more Nargakuga probably, because I don't need three speed types.
does help that I know exactly how much help it has now. I think it goes to technical here. Which means the best thing is power! We're gonna break your head. You want more of the power? Can't stop the power! Honestly, it's weird, but I feel like Zenogar is an easier fight than the Royal Tigrix. Oh yeah, big hits. Worm steak cannon. Stab it! Boom, 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 boom. Is it that time? Is it time to ride on? Double the kinship special! You can't beat Sharky Boy! We're gonna break his body in a second here. I think it's because it spends all that time. It's getting technical. She's gonna die. No, she can lose the heart. She can afford it. Why don't you look at me, you dumb bitch? I built them up. Boom. Play that hand. Oh, he's got ice armor now. Hell yeah, dude. Do it up. Pull out the flame, our cousin. I am playing it because I got a early copy from Capcom. Oh, it's go time, Zammy. Mess him up. Ice Spear. Fifty on that. Zami's pretty good, man. Zami is pretty good. Uh, 
Um, what was he just doing? Power attacks? Yep. Are we gonna be able to break the tail as well? Power, speed. Um, do a snow launcher to combo with a Vinia. No, you just attack. All about those double attacks. Ice Cyclone. Keep it up. Sometimes you kill them, sometimes you make them run away. But now we'll have baby Zenogi and baby Tiggy both in the party. Two high ass level five tier monsters. Whoosh, whoosh. Here I come to steal your egg. Come on, I want a shiny one. No, I need a shiny one. No. Not shiny enough. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. <sighs> Alright, we'll go. I could try for a rainbow, but I'll take this. Oh. 
And we got a rare one right here. I do really like Nagakuga, just the stealth mode. It just allows you to go through and get eggs so much easier. Oh, maybe a new, uh, a new Frosty since I just used mine up. I think this is a regular Baryoth. That's a new Ice Baryoth. Let's do that one. Let's go hatch our babies. Let's go hatch our babies. We're gonna hatch our babies. They're gonna be real good. I mean, no, we're not done royal hunting. There's one more on deck that we're going for. Hatch them both. Baby's in ogre. Oh yes. And a new jade barrier. Okay, you are a speed type. Do I replace? I mean, well, so it doesn't make sense to have both Tigrix and Nargakuga, because they both fulfill the role of being a physical damage speed dealer. So Zenogre is going to have to replace Nargakuga. That's just how it be. Narga is going to have to sacrifice his rainbow gene to not there. That's not to there. That's where the rainbow gene's going to go. Or right here. Right there would be fine. Thunderclad, increase thunder attack, heavy thunder damage, medium chance for paralysis, boost thunder, light thunder to one enemy, boost thunder defense. Why do you need thunder defense? And right now, Zamtrios and Ratha are basically carrying us, but this next monster, I think Anjanath is gonna, gonna come into play. Royal monsters are just high tier monsters in areas. So uh, a good way to think about it is by the rarity level. So Ratha is a five star. Uh, where are they at? Zenogar is a five star. Tigrix is a five star. Whereas the stuff I'm naturally finding right now is Anjanath is only a four. Yan is considered a three. Zambi is considered a three, three. Here's another four, three, two. Four, one, you know, so the point is that you're getting five star monsters really early. Um, they're just, they're good monsters to have, you know, it would be in like, in, in Pokemon terms, it would be like getting that dragon type in your party early because you know it's going to grow up and be a fucking beast. That was a big game fantasy, real best. This is Monster Hunter Stories. Monster Hunter Stories is an RPG version of Monster Hunter. So, different, but similar. Uh, where... Oh, gosh, slow down there, big boy. 
Um, explored Everden. I need to see... What is it called? Um... Let's see. Weakest to fire, as I thought. This next fight should be a breeze, I hope. Gotta go in that rare den. Can't pass a rare den. If you get in my way, I'll chop you up and eat all day with Anjanath. We're here to stay. Lots of firepower and big claws to play. Out of my way. Stupid very off. Can't catch me. I'm going too fast. Oh, no! I didn't want to fight them. You bitch, Anjanath isn't meant for the cold. Okay, you leave me with no choice but to power through. Let's power again. Charge cut. Y'all decided today to fuck with the wrong hunter. Just frozen. Your ice won't protect you. Fire breath. I mean, honestly, what it comes down to is where you're going to do your gaming. For any JRPG, 100% of the time, I will take it on Switch. Just because that means I get to just chill. Like, when this stream is done, if I'm like, you know what? I think I want to hunt for some more eggs before going to bed. I can do that. If I suddenly have to go poop, I can bring the Switch along and hunt eggs while taking a poop can't do that with the PC. Oh, I've seen you. I want to try and find a color scheme I haven't seen yet, but I think I've seen most of them. Another Jade Baryoth. Give me something shiny. The shiny Zami, I guess. I'll take it, whatever. I mean, I don't like, yeah, any, like, same with, like, Persona. If I was to ever actually finish Persona 4, it would only happen if, uh, it would only happen if they released it on Switch or Persona 5. Next, Royal Monsty. How many times? 
once and you pick up eggs as many times as you want. I'm guessing this is going to be a power boy. He's a big one. Oh no, Anja. Ice launcher. Oh, oh my god, Anjanath is gonna get just donked on. Oh shit! This is clawful. Let's pull this out. It's all about the double attacks. Gamos weak to fire. We need, if I'm gonna have a chance at winning this, I need to do hot mist. Hot mist. There we go. Now Angie can fight. Whoo, shit. Angie, I need you heat up. And then I will in snow. Cover itself in snow. It was doing power. I'm gonna guess it goes to technical. Medium fire damage. Low chance to inflict burn. Medium chance to inflict burn. Hit him with the burning fang. Um, burning fang on the legs. Legs. No, he's going. Ah, oh, he's going power. Damn, so that was like 200. We're gonna break the snow off your legs. Burn him, baby. And we have burn inflicted him. That's what I like to see. Ride the monster. Big hit there. Is Angel's health at one? Legs are broken. Break the nose. Ooh. Oh, shit. Dismounted me, bro. Fuck. Damn, I should have done my special. No, do not do that. 
ocean engine. Okay, um... I should do spinning meteor, but this is for monster parts. I need him to do his parts first so I can shatter his nose. I can keep winning these head to heads though. Come on, coat yourself in ice. How many times? Slow. That's what we wanted to see. I broke its legs before. Let's shatter its nose. that nose right there half of its fucking durability and burning blast should hit every part damn Avina and them are dead though that was bad that thing is mean that is a challenge we're, we're gonna keep banging away at, at Gamoth I want that Gamoth egg Field guides, Monsterpedia. I don't think he'll show up until I've defeated him. Shiny Gamoth egg is gonna be worth it. Okay, we are. We're actually gonna switch up. Let's bring him out. Wrath of Witchy Little Wings. And then Hot Mists. No more freezing for Ratha. Basic attack was 224. I might need some heavier gear to fight this dude. As long as I can win the head to heads, I can prevent going down. that double attack. All she got is Venom Strike? Damn. Well, just keep, keep at it. Try and get poison on him.
good. Let's break the legs first. Say goodbye, legs. So with no legs, with its legs broken, it shouldn't be able to do the stompy stomp. It can still do snow blaster, which will fucking wipe the entire party. That attack's bullshit, dude. Like, what am I supposed to do versus that? I don't know. I guess... The only thing I can think... Is that I need to focus on breaking its nose. And I need to break the nose before it has a chance to do that ability. Yeah, we already broke its legs. Legs are broken. And then it's body, head, nose, tail. So let's focus nose. I'm hoping that breaking the nose will stop it from doing its let me wipe the entire party bullshit. I haven't seen this one yet. I just saw it. What? What is this? Jesus, that is so over the top. I think we no, it's gonna snow stomp still. Which is bullshit because we break its legs. How is it getting off a of snow stomp? Okay, Frostbang! Yeah. Like one more hit. Break its nose! Oh. We got a broken part, it's gonna snow stop. Damn, bro! This monster's a cheater. <laughs> Fuck this guy, dude. I feel like I'm beating his ass and then he just has like, oh, I'm just going to do this one ability that instantly kills everybody. And he has two abilities and it does, it seems like, I don't know, man. Do I have anything that's like, you know, hyper defense everybody up? I could use Vital Essence to restore hearts after taking a beating. Uh... Oh, wait, what about, um... No, I don't have them. I was thinking, oh, I could use some traps, but no. All right, I'm gonna try... Let me see something here. Because my Anjanath is close to eating the other Anjanath's gene and leveling up. Wow. 
No, he's not. He needs to be... Shop Gene, Burning Fang. That's what I wanted. Deals medium fire damage, medium chance to inflict burn. Yeah. So I need to get him up to 20. So he has that. Away you go again. Once he's 20, I can level that up. Let me, um... Let me turn and grab side quests and shit. Maybe get a couple levels. Gene slots. Wait, what was that? Toughness meat? I just saw something that looks like it might help. Covers more HP and raises defense for five turns. There's a speed. So what I'm thinking, it might it might not be worth it, but what I'm thinking is I fight until he gets into that mode, and then maybe I just use a paralysis knife and be like, oh, you're paralyzed. Like, do y'all think that would work? Or actually, you know what? There's another thing I could do here. Bear pot. Um, each turn during battle. Increase your kinship gauge fills by 20%. Decreases damage taken from enemies by 8.3. Damage done by 8.3. Um... I feel like defense, but at the same time, I feel like more kinship feel and more kinship specials. Use all the charms to level up the prayer pot. Mine is level 20. Well, I mean, I only want to use them in, like, groups of three. Unless you're saying I should just, just use everything to level the, the thing up to 20. Damn, that's, I haven't seen low battery in a long time. Well, let's try it. We'll find out what happens. I'm going to try and paralyze his ass. And, and you know what? Even if we can't beat him, even if we can't, we still got a Tigrix and a Zenogre this stream. And I... That is some damn good progress. So, you know, no matter how this ends, I am happy with the progress we've made tonight. He's eating up. I'm going to try and break his horn first. Look, I got, I inflicted burn, but Ange's already took, went down. That's not good. Ow. 
I mean, I don't know if I got it this time. It's still... Because the problem is just that the, he's one-shotting it. Like, I don't feel like I'm being outplayed. Like, I'm doing... You know, I'm making the right moves. I'm winning the head-to-heads. The -head it's literally just a problem of, like, oh, yeah, he does this, and I can't beat that. You know? Just feeling really fast. Shit, I did not- oh man, I did not mean the tail. Oh god. Break the nose! the nose again I should survive with one level three kinship skill Anja assault He was trying to do his thingy. Fuck yes, let's go! <laughs> the paralysis? Did it work? Yes, it worked! Oh my god. Yo, this is the cheekiest shit right now. What? No! Oh, man. I thought the paralyzed would have worked, but... Man, that's bullshit. This monster is a cheap ass. That was bad. Fuck Gamma. All my homies hate Gamma. I just have to come back and fight that after like the next zone when I'm stronger, probably. The prayer effects have worn off. Womp womp.
Welcome. Forge weapons. I want this. Selfalose materials, shakalaka materials. I could probably upgrade you to the final tier, I think. No, I need Kadachi. I also need another Anjanath. Thank you. Um, so the problem with trapping it... You can only trap when it's doing, uh, planned attacks. And so, let's say I get a trap, it's going to break out of it in two turns, and then it's going to use its special. And I can't block that special with a trap. So, unfortunately, there's, I, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is to stop that. There's, there's a gimmick to that fight that I am not aware of. That's where we're going next for the story. Jagged Rock Cave. We did. I did the mine earlier. I did not do West Lavina ever then. I'll go do that. Reporting to the IRS. Dude, I was so pissed at the IRS earlier, so... Like, with, with my taxes, I'm supposed to pay quarterly taxes. Um, you know, because, like, YouTube is, like, 1099 income. So I'm, I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to, like, prepay, basically. Um, and I never do. And every year when I do my taxes, I just end up paying a fine. It's, like, a, a you know, three $400 fine. And I've always been like, well, it's easier doing the fine than, you know, paying, uh, paying multiple taxes. Well... I found out I don't need to, like, actually fill out my taxes. I just need to, like, go online and just give them money four times a year and then do my taxes at the end. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, this isn't that bad. So back when I paid my taxes uh, in, like, February or whatever, I had set up quarterly payments. And the plan was to basically pay taxes in, like, April and July and September. You know, you get the idea. Well, April came around. And I didn't pay quarterly taxes because we were getting ready to buy the house and I needed that money to go towards the house down payment. So that didn't happen. Um, and I forgot that... Um, I forgot that I was supposed to pay quarterly taxes in July. Like, I scheduled the payment, but I just completely forgot about it. So... I wake up... Uh, <laughs> basically, after 4th of July weekend... I wake up and I have an email and it's like, warning, your bank account uh, is empty. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, and you know, like, cause I had money in there to like pay, pay my mortgage, pay my credit card, pay my bills. And I wake up to an email that's like, you know, you have no money in your account. I'm like, what the fuck happened? You know, I thought like, I thought I got like hacked and someone like robbed me or something. No, no, sir. I had forgotten that I scheduled that IRS payment. And so I had a IRS payment fucking process right after 4th of July weekend and literally clean out my entire checking account. Like I had no money. And then so of course the mortgage bounced, credit card bounced. And I'm like, fuck, like, you know, this is, this is fucked. There's gotta be something I can do. And I call, I call the IRS and I'm like, Hey, you know, uh, I had scheduled a quarterly payment. Um, I forgot this was about to come out. I need this money for like you know, mortgage payment and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And basically they're like, well, what, they're like, oh, what, what year are you paying for? And I'm like, this is, you know, this is, uh, for, for 2021 taxes. Well, for, first the lady's like, she's like, you can't, you know, if you're paying, you can't, you know, you have to make that payment. You can't cancel that. Otherwise, you know, you'll get sent to collections. And I'm like, no, 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 you're not listening to me. Like, I don't owe you anything. I've never missed a tax payment or been late ever. I'm prepaying for the next year. And they're like, wait, for like 2021? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, well, we don't have anything you can do because you don't actually owe any money. We have no way of refunding you. I'm like, okay. So my, uh, the, the end, end, 
the end result was basically the IRS just got to keep all that money. And I had to borrow against my retirement to have enough money to pay bills at the start of the month. So, yeah, that's fucking fun. Was not a good time. And, like, you know what? Like, at, at the end of the day, you know, I'm gonna have to pay taxes at the end of the year. So, whatever. I just, I have to pay less now when it comes time to pay. But, like, fuck, man. I did not count on having all that money go towards taxes right now. And the shittiest part about it is, like, I, I, I mean, I scheduled it myself. But I scheduled this shit back in, like, January and just forgot about it. Man, I didn't have a reminder or anything. I didn't get, like, a... You know, like, hey, uh, you know, the IRS is set to take money from your account that you schedule. I got no email. I got no text message. I got no, like, actual, like, mail mail. Like, hey, we're getting ready to take your money. I got fucking nothing, man. I was so just, that was, it was fucked. I got fucked over. I fucked myself. <laughs> I, fucked, I fucked myself. Ugh. Well, so, uh, th technically, I could have reversed it, but here's the kicker. The, the only, the only way that I could have reversed it, what I would have had to do is call the bank, issue a stop payment for the, uh, for the withdrawal. And then, because I would have had to do a stop payment for the withdrawal, I would have paid a $35 stop payment fee, and I also would have had to pay a, um, I would have had to pay a 2% fee on what I was paying for taxes. So, 2% of my tax payment and a fee from the, uh, from the bank. So the only thing I could do is just eat it. I'm like, fuck this. Quarterly taxes suck so much ass. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I woke up. Basically, imagine waking up and seeing your entire bank account just has no money. It was not a not a fun experience. So now I got, I, I borrowed a bunch of money out of my Roth. And basically I just got to pay that, pay that back in, um, I think it's like 60, I have 60 days to pay it back. So yeah, fun times, which I mean, I'll pay that back fine. Why didn't your accountant tax person not prevent this? Because I was making this, this payment myself. My accountant tax person didn't. Well, for starters, I don't have an accountant tax person. I do my own shit. Um, and second, I would have been able to prevent this if I had remembered that I scheduled it six months ago. to write off a bunch of stuff for your taxes. I mean, yeah, but it, it's still doesn't, like, that has nothing to do with, with paying the taxes. You don't really get to write off that much. Like, no one's like, oh, like, I mean, the reality is YouTube has, like, as a job, there's very little overhead once you grow. Like, because once... You know, once I, once you like have the PC and you have the consoles, you know, most of the time, uh, well, I mean, most of the time companies are sending you the games for free. So like the majority of my tax expenses are basically just like if I need new, new PC parts or if, um, you know, like when, when all the consoles dropped last year, that was all tax write-offs, but that was like. A whopping thousand dollars. How do rich people get away with dodging taxes? That's like offshore account type shit. And the thing is, you need a, a shit ton of money to make that work. Like if you're if you're doing that, if you're actually like tax dodging, you need 
to be making like millions and millions of dollars to even justify it. Because so to, to basically to explain the basics of tax dodging, what ultimately happens is um, let's let's use just using the the example of a offshore. Um, let's just use we'll just say uh, Tesla. So what happens is Elon Musk operates Tesla in America, but he could open a business just called like Tesla Inc over in the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands has no tax rate. Well, what happens is here in America, Tesla makes, you know, uh, $1 billion this year. So, ah, Tesla makes a billion dollars and they should pay a taxes on a billion dollars. Well, that's how it would work, except um, Tesla writes, oh yes, I made a billion dollars, but I need to pay Tesla Inc. in the Cayman Islands uh, one billion dollars for using the name Tesla. And so I need to write off a billion dollars. And that's that's the gist of it, is you, you make it, you know, all the money that, that would have to get paid off, um, it, it makes it look like that money goes somewhere else. Which is like a bullshit system. But that's welcome to America. Where we have one of the most garbage tax systems in the world. It's so, it's so fucked when you really think about it. Like, just the idea that, like, you know, like, the IRS already knows how much you're gonna owe on taxes, because your employers are gonna send those forms to them, but it's still up to us as the individual to calculate that fucking number. And if you get the number wrong, you can go to jail. <laughs> like, like, America's tax system is so fucked. It's like literally designed to to try and get people to like fuck up and lose money. Ho ho, you're approaching me. some major tax vamp for a long time, but... You done fucked up, friend. Yeah, that's the other problem, is usually the people that, the people that are making all this money that they're getting away with it, I think as they have so much money that for the IRS to even try and audit them, it just, it, it ultimately, like, becomes nothing, you know? Like, the IRS tries to audit, and it's just a, uh, a chicken chase of, like, this person sending in, like, lawyer after lawyer after lawyer. And ultimately, that money never gets recovered. So, that's why more often than not, if the IRS is going to audit somebody, they're going to audit somebody that's fucking broke. Because that person is just going to, you know, accept whatever the outcome is and pay it. You do know the recommended strategy for game off? Yeah, sure. I mean... If you, if you know a way for me to, to possibly tackle that without him uh, one-shotting me... I mean, most most areas of government are completely fucked when you get higher up. Like, there was a there was a report that like the SEC during the during the the 2008 um, housing market crash, the a majority of it, the SEC just spent looking at like porn. Like they weren't even doing anything; they were just looking at porn.
You need to die. This guy needs to... There we go. Now I can grab the egg in peace. It's just to break as many parts as possible as attacks that do less and less damage for each part broken. This is literally what Capcom advertises. The problem is, I we can't break the parts fast enough. Like, we're struggling to break, you know. I don't think the fight can be done this early, basically. It's a free Angie egg. Because we were trying to like, all right, we gotta break the break the nose. All right, we gotta try and break the legs. And even like I broke the legs, and then he still did the nose thing, and that one shot me. And then he did the stomp, and that one shot me. So I think I just need to come back and fight him when I'm stronger. Uh, let's see. Treasure chest, treasure chest, lots and lots of treasure chests. Ah! Nutriment, you can get an extra 30 HP and 50 attack defense. Is this like a temp, a temp boost? See, the thing is, it's even, even if I, I use items to boost my defense, it's the fact that it's a massive AoE. He, he literally wiped the entire party. That's the problem, you know, even if I, even if I survive, it doesn't matter if I survive, if the other three all go down. I just need to fight him when I'm stronger, you know, there's nothing, there is is absolutely nothing wrong with waiting until you're stronger to fight something. No permanent? Did you mean like no comma permanent or no permanent as in it's not permanent? This is why punctuation is important. Where do I find these things at? Nutriments? Do I have nutriments? I don't think I have nutriments. I have the these are nutriments for allies. Increase ally. I don't have hunter nutriments. How do I get this one's a little tricky. The only thing over here is a den. It must be a fly. I think it's a fly. And then there's that. I don't know how to get to that den. Explored Everden, Loloska Canyon. Blue chests. These work for yourself, not just monsters. Hold the fuck up. Well, shit. Bird wyvern. Flying. Any of y'all bird wyverns? Nope.
Well, that's good to know. I'll just use them all on myself to make my guy beefy as hell. But we are over three hours, so... This seems like a good spot to wrap things up for now. Because looking at the map, we have explored everything that was here for me. Um, well, we did the Everden. I didn't go Jagged Rock Cave, but I'll go there later. This, I don't know. I probably got to fly up to that. I did the mine. I got to fly to get that. I explored that den. I explored that den. We got two royal monsters now in the party. And so the only thing left is to go and continue on with the story. Temoserin stimulant. What the hell is that? Temoserin. I think that's specifically... Temoserin. Temnoserin. I think that's the, the uh, spiders. So anyway, we'll wrap things up here. This seems like a good spot to take a break. Um, I'm going to go grab some dinner and stuff. Obviously, that's one of the, the benefits of, uh, of these earlier streams is I can eat food at a normal hour. So closing it out here. Uh, tomorrow is probably going to be a late night stream. I'm going to talk to the guys and see, um, see what they want to do. If they are not on board with late night, I'll probably do more Monster Hunter. But the plan was going to be for For Honor. It just depends on the boys. So anyway, y'all have a good night. Uh, lots of Monster Hunter Stories episodes coming your way. Going to have three episodes today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and then we may end up slowing it down. But either way, I will uh, catch you all soon with some more. So thanks for coming out, and I'll see you later.